Okay, it's uh, Saturday, September 14th, 2019. We are headed towards the I-5 bridge and Smith Canal. Do a shopping cart cleanup, but on the way, we're gonna kind of highlight what's happening to this waterway because of the uh, dumping that occurs. Almost on stop on Shimizu Drive. So this is the Smith Canal. Uh, that levee, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Shimizu. Um, it's a notorious illegal dumping zone where, I don't know, it just seems like they people dump with impunity and nothing is ever done about it. Although, I think they may have done a cleanup recently. Because I don't see the same couches and chairs that were here a week ago. Regardless, it ends up in the water. And uh, this is some of the stuff here. That's Randall, my neighbor. He's uh, spearheading this effort to get the shopping carts out. He says hi. We'd like to see it with none of this garbage in here, but it just has a reputation, I guess, of being a dumping zone and there's nothing we can do about it. The city won't do anything about it. I think they do a sporadic cleanup on occasion. But by that time, trash has been sitting there for a couple weeks. It's blowing into the canal. The vagrants that live under the bridge are rifling through it, throwing stuff in the water just for kicks, and all the trash on the banks there. That never gets cleaned up. It will end up in the water and out to sea. The only thing that gets cleaned up is if it's still on the top of the levee. All right, we'll pick up when we get under the bridge. All right, here's an example of some of the levee dumping that's going on. There's some mattresses, other types of furniture, TVs, and you can see that once it gets dumped here, it's just a short hop to the water, which, of course, is apparent right here. There's a shopping cart right there. But we're going for the mother load, which is under the bridge. garbage that just accumulates on the overhanging trees. More furniture. And this stuff, this stuff ends up all the way down at Yosemite Lake in the American Legion Park eventually. And next weekend, September 21st, we're having a cleanup down there. Now, if they had a fence, at least like a chain link fence along this section of the levee, I don't think it would discourage the dumping, but it would stop a lot of this stuff from entering the water. Um, or they could just enforce the laws. Uh, that, that ain't happening any time. Yeah, up here is a cabin cruiser that was being lived in. Just a month ago, I saw this thing coming up and down the Smith Canal. It sunk, and it's gonna be there for quite a long time, probably. So you can see all the plastic and small pieces of trash just blow right into the water. Uh, now we're close to the I-5. Oh. 
Yeah, they tie these boats up at uh, high tide, and then they they forget about it, and it uh, it'll roll right down into the water and, and and capsize or get swamped, and then it's done, and it's there forever. And now, they haven't cleaned up here in a while. I see the same trash that I called about a week ago, even more so right there on the top of the levee. Now we waited till low tide to uh, get a good <clears throat> get good access to the shopping carts because once the tide comes up, sometimes you you don't even know they're under there and they're a hazard. And you could drive a thousand times across this bridge, but you would never know the kind of destruction that's going on down here with the trash. dumping. Ah, that's just a pile of wood getting ready to light on fire, I'm sure. Yeah, that's another thing about it, too. Uh, <laughs> constant fires. Oh, look, there's a hot tub. That's the right place for that. And of course, they've dug out, they've terraced the slopes under the bridge so they can sit on the waterfront down there. All right, we're going to slow down. And uh, identify some of these shopping carts. Okay, so this is an area that we've got most of the carts out now. That's the Buddhist Temple of Stockton up there. And up ahead is the mothership of carts. We've been loading carts onto it. Another volunteer with a really large barge. Right up against the homeless camp right now. And that's where the vast majority of these cars can be found. You know, Safeway is uh, right on the other side of these lots. And that's Safeway and big lots. And uh, the source of these carts is most definitely from there. Over here is an avalanche of trash and hazardous materials, and, and in fact, those are probably their latrines, which they then dump right into the water. Go. Just uh, go, take me under the bridge. Sean has given me a pull right now to leapfrog these guys and start on the other side of the bridge. All right, there's about 30, 40 carts on that barge. I'm gonna leapfrog up here. I don't know how much, I'm probably about 25% battery right now. 
and then and then I'll get you tell me well depending on where we are you can tell me back to your house and I can charge up there Okay, so this is the uh, accumulation of junk. It's like a scrapyard on on a float of mostly grocery carts that we pulled out from under I-5 bridge. This is Roland in the red. This is Tom Patty. Tom Patty in the blue here. A number of other volunteers with boats. Uh, made light made light work of it. Um, there was a whole another barge filled with these as well. In anticipation of the coastal cleanup, so we got ahead of it here a little bit. But this is one year. Didn't we do this last year or maybe the year before? Done it quite a few times here. This is, it doesn't look yeah, like there's a lot of old carts in here. No, I see. Yeah, I know some of them are brand new. Anyways, good job, everyone.